Hi all, Ashley here. Hope you are doing well. Today I am unboxing some Happy Mail from Doodlebug. Um, so they sent me their recent collection. This is called Fairy Garden and let's go through it. Um, so we'll start with some of their sprinkles here. I always love their glitter sprinkles and I always get good use out of these. I go through enamel dots so quickly. And then look how cute. This is their birds and bugs sprinkles, shape sprinkles. And I love that they have these like teeny tiny little dots too. Always loving like teeny tiny little touches like that. Um, and then their regular sprinkles, enamel dots, really, really cute. Their mini jewels. More shape sprinkles here. I love the clouds and the little tiny hearts. And look at these cute little florals, spring garden, and mushroom meadow. How cute are these little images? It's this is such a whimsical collection, and there's so many like super cute little whimsical um, images, including like these really adorable fairy girls. Um, here I'll show you. This is they always have collectors pins. Um, with all their collections and here's one of their fairy girls as a pin it's just so cute and just freaking adorable and um, here's the little ladybug this one is super cute too and snails really adorable so that's these then they also sent some washi for the collection here's what they look like I have loads of washi now um, they sent some doodle pops these are always super fun cute so there's a little sun and then a little fairy girl so cute look at the two fairy girls so adorable i don't know how many use these yet but i want to yeah, but we'll we'll see you more to come on that later but um here is some more there's a little pot flower pot a little flower mason jar i love this icon the fairy garden house the little mushroom house i love 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 this image i just wish this wasn't orange but <laughs> okay that's okay <laughs> um it's just but the image itself i just love this icon so cute um and like all the kind of fairy garden kind of icons i think they're all just like so whimsical and fun uh little clouds and rainbow and then some more in the garden kind of things and then um then let's go through the stamps so we have stamps and coordinating dies just like with all their collections and here's the first set look at the super cute little frog <laughs> so cute and really nice like easy to use sentiments too and then there's also um lots of stamps for the little fairy girls which i think is so cute because then you can make it whatever colors you want you can color them in yourself and um, just have like loads of fairy girl embellishments if you'd like um, and yeah I just think that's really cute and of course comes with corresponding dies um, then they sent these little paper clips which I think are just so adorable little flower paper clips um, cards and envelopes as well that they have with all of their collections this is what they look like um, I took this one out this is um, garden flowers like die cuts um yeah and so it's like already cut out for you and you can assemble these flower shapes uh, so i think these are kind of neat um so we'll play with those here in a bit and then here is maybe before i go into the paper pad let's just keep going through all the little ephemera so some sticker rolls again uh true uh, doodlebug usually always has like a sticker roll with some icons that are in all the colors um and then here are the little bluebirds really really cute i love those and then um some suns and then i always also really love their mini icon stickers i just like the size of them and here is the sticker pack for this collection so so cute again so many like whimsical images and like you know individually or you could just use a few looks so you can go for a simple look or you can go for a rainbow look whichever one you want um but yeah look how cute Ugh, it's just like so cute <laughs> so fun and playful 
And then this one, I love this idea of like a string of lights too. Very cute. Little flower girls. I love this little girl on the swing. So adorable. So, so cute. And then these little, um, what are these bugs called? <laughs> My, the little, um, yeah, you know, these guys. <laughs> so yeah, really, really cute. Um, and then, um, those are the mini icons. And then let's do the standard size icons too. Same images, just slightly larger. It's nice to have a good variety. So that's what these ones look like. And then here's a six by six paper pad. I'll flip through this kind of quick. The images are super teeny tiny. So I'll try to, oh, is that gonna focus? Nope. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cute little bumblebees. Flowers, I really love this paper with just like the clouds, really easy to use as a backdrop. And then more of those little bugs, so cute. Lots of little cut aparts here. Wishing you well. <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh, I like the colors on this this little house guy. I think I'll fussy cut that out. Really cute. And then more papers. We'll see this again in the 12 by 12 sheets. But I just want to flip through these kind of give you an idea. And then there's always this kind of paper with all the icons that you can cut out if you want. All right, so then it repeats. So that's the six by six pad and then here is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet with so many cute little phrases here, some tabs and then your border stickers as well and then some of the larger stickers. So that's this one. And then here are the 12 by 12 pieces of paper, front and back. So cute, so cute. And then there's specialty paper as well. And I love vellum, love, love, love vellum. And I love this paper. It's so pretty. I, was, I have two sheets, but I, I have one sheet from um, the last collection they sent me. So now I have three. So now I can cut into, it, it, now I can cut into one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I actually think I might use up all of this vellum. It's so, so pretty. I love the rainbow look of it and like with this cloud paper too. And just like spring shower, um, April showers brings May flowers kind of a album or something. I think that would be so cute. So, and then here's the little ladybugs. It's adorable. And then these strips on the back. And the flower girl strip is so cute. And then I will make good use out of this paper too. Just cutting out some of these grids or lines. Super useful. And then the back is this colorful stripe. And then this image, this paper with all the images. So many little fairy girls if you want to fussy cut these out. So cute. And the back is the suns. And then some more of these die cuts. Love this girl. So cute. And the back is little snowflake like thing, like twinkle lights. And then this one, some sentiments, multicolored. And then the back is your green garden. This one, Lots of little mushroom images and the snails and the butterflies. And the back is colorful stripes. Deep pink tone on tone florals. And colorful polka dots. Huge 
colorful polka dots. <laughs> and our green mushroom paper. And some more florals. Colorful stripes. I love this color of yellow. It's very like soft yellow. It's very pretty. And then little bumblebees, which are just so cute with their little smiley faces. <laughs> and then honeycomb on the back. Just so cute. These little bees. Adorable. And then little rainbows and colorful hearts on the back. Okay, so those are all of our papers and the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Again, I think I'm definitely most excited for this vellum. I can't wait to use this on something. It's so pretty. And it's, um, it's like embossed raindrops, so it has a lot of texture to it, to, to the touch. Um, okay, and then let me go through the ephemera packs. I think this one is supposed to say Fairy Garden on it. I'm not sure why it says um, Hippity Happy, which is their Easter collection. But let me um, let's go through these two. So there's this one. Lots of little icons in there too little flowers and then some bigger shapes here and then we just like this one too real quick okay so here's the first pack with all the icons look how cute oh this is just like so fun and whimsical i love it so so fun so cute. I can't wait to start playing and making something with this. Um, and little clouds. Look, and little butterflies. Lots and lots and lots of flowers. Little ladybugs. Little clouds. And then just so many of these little girls. Little girl icons. <laughs> so cute. And um, yeah, there's lots in here. Oh, this is like a little wishing well. <laughs> That's so cute. And then more mushroom houses, wagons, a girl on the... These girls are just so adorable. So cute. Usually it's more like the animals that I have, I'm like kind of a sucker for. Like that's the thing with Doodlebug is I just make super cute little an animal icons that I just can't help but... <laughs> I, just, I just think they're just so stinking cute. But the little girls, the fairy girls in this collection are definitely my favorite. So cute. So, so cute. Oh. So adorable. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we've shown a lot of it. There's still like loads more. Lots of little um, flower pieces, like I said. Little chicks here in like all the colors. Little um, things for you to build a scene if you want. Fences and trees and things, a little mason jar again. So yeah, loads in here and a good variety of sizes of ephemera too. So that's cool. Okay, so that's this one. And then this one is our phrase pack. Um, and kind of like their standard style of like they have some of these like super large title type um, phrases, magical, beautiful, kind of that scripty font or all caps font, and then they've got some flower like borders here, that's cool, really cute, and then all these little flag images, uh, phrases, thank you very much, <laughs> or beautiful, all the puns of course. And then I really like these like circle ones that they have. Always have these. So cute. I love getting like circle ephemera. And um and then the stamp ephemera too. I always like those too. Look how cute. Cute, cute, cute. Alright, well that's um a bunch of the phrases here. Let me just show you real quick the back of both of these. Um but that's 
This is everything you get in the phrase one. And then I'll show you the icons here too. Um, but that's everything for this collection. There is so much in here. And I hope you guys like seeing what um, what's in this collection. And I will share with you what I make soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.